I've been reading um, Rock Bottom Girl by Lucy Score this week, and I just wanted to give a quick update since I haven't really said anything in this vlog. But um, so far, I'm really enjoying it. I mean, I love all of Lucy Score's writing, all of her books I want to read. I know she has this huge backlist that I want to slowly work through this summer, but um, I saw Rock Bottom Girl, this new cover that they made, and just screamed summer read for me. But anyways, I'm really enjoying it. So it's about this girl named Marley. She's 38. She is single. So she just got dumped and she also just got fired from her job. And so she moves back to her hometown and that's why it's called Rock Bottom Girl because she literally hit rock bottom. And she heads back and she sees all these people who she used to know in high school. And it seems like everyone who was popular in high school is kind of runs the town and she sees some familiar faces. But um, she gets a job at the local high school or at her high school and she gets a job as the PE teacher and also the girls soccer coach and her job is to kind of bring the soccer team back because they have a losing season the, the last coach like died or something right in front of the girls so the girls all have this like trauma and they're trying to work through it and there's rivalries and there's just the team is very divided so she has a huge job on her hands to kind of bring the team back together and help them work through their issues and also at the same time work through her own personal life but there's just so much cute banter in this book I love the just funny comments and like the internal dialogue it's awesome I really like the main character Marley but I am excited to see how she grows in this book because she like I said, she hit rock bottom. So it'll be nice to see how she kind of evolves during this book and also helps the team. I feel like it's gonna be one of those like movie montages where they're like training for something and then they're gonna overcome some huge obstacle or they're gonna come back and win state or something. So I'm excited to see that. I really like the friendships that I'm seeing with her and the relationships between her and like her players and everything. But yeah, it's it's good. And there's this guy named Jake who was the bad boy when she was in high school and he's actually the cross country coach and he's also a history teacher at the high school. So she gets to see him again and some like old sparks kind of come back into play and they end up actually, they're fake dating, kind of to help her reputation, but also like he wants to learn how to be in a long-term relationship because all he's ever done is flings. So I don't know, it's just really cute. I'm excited to see where it goes. They just have great chemistry and I'm really excited to see where this book goes, but I will keep you updated. Yesterday, I finished Rock Bottom Girl by Lucy Score, and I just wanted to get, say my thoughts before I jumped into my next read. But I must say that this book, it was very cute. I did enjoy it. I really liked Marley and Jake's relationship in this book. That's the main two characters. And I really enjoyed seeing Marley's growth um, throughout the book. So she started out kind of like as a hot mess, but then as the book progresses, she starts to learn how to be a good coach, how to be a good role model, how to be a good teacher, and all these different skills. And I thought she just did such a good job being so just graceful. And I feel like she, you know, she had a lot of baggage from her past in this town. This was her hometown that she moved back to. And she did have a lot of stuff, a lot of trauma, I think, that she had to work through and kind of get over and get past. But 
watching her grow from all of those mistakes and seeing how she could take those lessons that she learned when she was a kid and then teaching her, you know, her players and teaching, you know, her students and everything, just how to be a good person and how to learn from those mistakes and also how to just treat people right. I thought that was just great. I thought there were a lot of really good life lessons in this book. And I really enjoyed Marley and her character development throughout the book. If I was going to rate this book, I would say it's probably going to be like a... I'm going to give four stars. Um, the reason why it wouldn't be higher is just because, you know, every romance novel, there's always going to be that third act conflict. And the conflict in this book, I thought was just really... I mean, you could see it coming. You knew because she's not planning on staying in this hometown. Her position as a coach and teacher at the school are all temporary. So you already knew she was on limited time and she wanted to leave. She wants to be important. She wants to matter and she wants to have this really high end job where she has that corner office and everything. So she's never pictured herself moving back home because to her it feels like a step back almost like she is losing at life and not going on and being this super successful businesswoman. Um, so you already knew that that was going to be part of the conflict, which it was. But just, I thought the reasoning was so dumb. Like the reasons she came up with for not wanting to stay and continue on her job as a teacher and a coach. I thought that it was just really dumb. <laughs> I didn't like how that all came about. I think that I mean, I understand there had to be some sort of conflict, you know, to keep it interesting, but I just felt like it was really stupid and some of the stuff towards the end just didn't really make sense. Like with the characters, like certain characters were doing certain things that I thought were kind of just unrealistic. Like that character has been acting this way the entire book and now all of a sudden they're gonna act this way. Like I just, I felt like that could have been tweaked a little bit, I don't know. I mean, it was funny in the moment when I was reading it, it was funny. So maybe that is why Lucy did that with some certain characters in the book. But I think that's why I gave it a four stars, not higher. Just, it was a really solid Lucy score book. But, and I think I, I could just tell that this was one of her older books. Like the books she's written most recently, I think were just so well-rounded. Like the entire book just made sense. Everything with the characters made sense and they're just so good and I still really enjoyed this book I would recommend it to other people who wanted a, like a good fun summer read because it doesn't really talk about anything too traumatic or drastic like too sad but it just has some really good like fun funny characters funny dialogue and just some light-hearted areas of the book which I did enjoy yeah so four stars Lucy score love it continue on my gal you're doing a great job with these books I love it I will continue buying more so last night after I finished Rock Bottom Girl, I actually started The Fourth Wing, which is blowing up right now. I'm so excited about this book. I actually saw it when it first came out or was released in like Target. I saw it at like the checkout, like one of those end caps by the checkout when it first came out. And I remember seeing like this side where it's the dyed pages. And I remember like, oh my gosh, that's such a beautiful book. But I didn't buy it at the time because first of all, I didn't know anything about it. It was before anyone had said anything about it. And I also had just bought like 20 books off Amazon. So I didn't want to go and buy another book when I had just bought all these other books. So I didn't even pick it up. I didn't even look to see what it was about. I saw that it had dragons. And I was like, oh, that sounds, that looks really cool. Like, I think I would enjoy that. But I didn't touch it because I didn't want to be tempted to buy it. Well, I definitely regretted that. Uh, probably a week after that shopping trip to Target when it blew up on just all social media. Everyone was trying to buy this book. Everyone's trying to find it and it started to quickly sell out of all Targets and Walmarts and I literally was looking online and I saw someone was trying to sell their copy for $75 on Pango Books. $75? I'm sorry. No, this is already like a $20 book. I'm not paying $75. People were doing that on purpose because they knew they were only going to be dying the pages on the first uh, printing, I guess, the first printing of this book. So I went hunting for it. I've been to so many Targets, so many Walmarts looking for this book. And yesterday I was shopping with my mom and we went to a Walmart that was literally 45 minutes away from our house. And I found 
the last two copies of this book. It was honestly just a miracle in and of itself because I knew I've checked online. It's literally if you go on to like Target's website or Walmart's website and you search locations to see if they have this book, almost every single one says out of stock or it'll say out of stock, but you have to go to the physical location to see because they might be on the shelf, but they're not back in their like storage area. Like they are out of them. All of their copies are out ready to be bought. So when we saw this book, we were immediately just like, gotta buy it. Like, and I'm so glad that we were able to find it. I started it, I'm about 20 something pages in, 22 pages in, and I'm already loving this book. It's so, so good. I can tell just by the writing style that this is one of those books that are just, it's gonna be action packed. It's gonna keep me entertained and hooked throughout the entire book. And I know that this is gonna be, I think a series maybe, um, cause this said it was like book one of the Imperium or Imperium series or something like that. So I know I'm gonna be buying the next book when it comes out. I just love it so much. It honestly feels like a mixture of Divergent and How to Train Your Dragon. Like that's what I'm picturing when I'm reading this book. Like the way they dress definitely sounds like How to Train Your Dragon with like the, the riding leathers and like it's not modern, modern day by any means. So it sounds really interesting in that way. So that's what I'm picturing. And then also it feels like Divergent because there's all these different sectors, I guess you could call them. But it's it's very similar to Triss and Divergent where she goes dauntless and it's like the hardest sector that you can choose from. And it's really dangerous. Not a lot of people make it all the way through and see graduation or live to graduation. So it's very similar in that way. And everyone is just very brutal. You can't make friends here. It's just every man for himself trying to survive and make it through. So I don't know. I'm going to continue reading this. I feel like I'm going to read this one really quickly because already 20 pages in, I'm hooked. I love this book. And I can already see who the future romantic interest is going to be in this book. I can just already see it. It's going to be enemies to lovers. And I'm so here for it. I feel like every fantasy book needs to be enemies to lovers because that's just when it hits the hardest. <laughs> I'm so excited to read this book. So I will try to keep you guys updated and I will try not to spoil anyone with what happens in this book. So, obviously, as you can tell, I did finish Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros, and I'm just gonna give my rating now. It's a five stars. This book was so good. I don't know what else to say about it besides the fact that it is definitely my favorite book that I have read so far this year. Like, it's so good. Oh my gosh. This, I have not read a book faster. 
honestly this book i literally i read it in two days which i think is pretty good considering all day yesterday i was with my nephew so i didn't really have a ton of time to read but oh my gosh this book is so freaking good if you take anything away from what i ever say any of my opinions it is that this book is definitely worth the read definitely worth the 20 dollars purchase i'm gonna have to pre-order the second because this was too good too good the writing style is so fast paced and easy to understand the world building everything about it is just very easy to comprehend i thought i was going to be confused since i haven't really read a lot of books with dragons in them i know there's aragon and everything but i've never read that book i've seen the movie but i never read that book when i was younger so this the best i can describe it is it's like divergent with how to train your dragon it literally the whole time I was reading at least like the first half of the book I was picturing Divergent like Dauntless their whole compound and how to train your dragon with like like after they start riding the dragons I guess how to train dragon 2 but like they know almost everything about every dragon and so they, they learn about them and they bond with them it is a lot like Aragon where you bond with your dragon except the rules here is if your dragon dies you die instead of it being flipped like an aragon where if uh you die your dragon dies which your dragon can um i think it depends on how strong the bond is between you and your dragon yeah so a dragon can go on and have bond with other riders so it's not like you're like soulmates or anything like that everything about this book And it does kind of leave you on a cliffhanger. It drops a bomb on you. So I think the second book comes out in November. So if you're one of those people who can't wait, like you can't read a book that has a cliffhanger unless you know you have the second book on standby, then I recommend waiting on this one. But at the same time, I kind of want you to read it anyways and suffer with me. It's so good i think for sure when november rolls around and the second book is coming out i think i'm gonna reread it just so i can reread it honestly i this is one of those books that i feel like every year or two i'm gonna want to reread because it's so good all the characters there's a lot of side characters in this book that i actually i, I absolutely loved in this book just everything about it uh, I feel like i need to like go in depth with my review but at the same time i don't want to spoil people it's my all-time favorite book of this year. That's crazy. I'm like so confident that it's my favorite book. That's how good it was. I'm so confident in my five-star rating and I know that it's like a ton of people love it. So it's well worth the hype. If you're gonna read a hyped up book, this is a good one to start with. Honestly, I'm kind of, I feel brain dead after reading it. I feel like I won't be able to read another book for a little bit usually like after i finish a book i'll go pick out a new one but i feel like i need to wait a couple of hours so i can just comprehend everything i've read and decompress a little bit just let it settle let it digest so it's a few hours later i've had time to digest um the fourth wing by rebecca yaros and i'm ready to start looking at another book. Now I'm kind of in a fantasy mood. I feel like I've been in a fantasy mood for a while now. So I'm gonna continue on with it. And I'm gonna start a new series that I've heard amazing things about. Um, it's actually just a, du a duet or a duology. It's two books, but it also has a novella in between. And that is The Serpent and the Wings of Night by Carissa Broadbent. I've heard such amazing things about this book. I'm really excited to read it. Um, I've heard that it's like The Hunger Games, but with vampires. So very intrigued. So the main character, Oriya, I think is how you say her name. She is a human living in this world and she was actually taken in by the king of this universe or this nation and um, raised as his daughter, basically. So I've heard that she's a really strong uh, main character and I've heard that she can really hold her own. So I'm really excited to see you know the hunger games aspect of this like kind of the survival of the fittest i've heard that there's also enemies to lovers in this so i feel like this is just going to be a really good book to continue on since i'm still wanting to read a book 
kind of similar to fourth wing and I think that this will definitely do the job. So I'm really excited to start this one and then to give my thoughts. So we are now at the end of my reading vlog. This is officially one week after I started this video. And I just wanted to end with saying my thoughts on how the week went and let you know what all I read. So just to recap, when I started this week off, I did read Rock Bottom Girl by Lucy Score and I really enjoyed it. I gave this book a four stars and it's just honestly one of those perfect summer reads. It actually starts out in the summer so I think this is just overall a really good read especially if it's late summer leading into a new school year it definitely had that kind of new year restart refresh those kind of vibes so I really enjoyed this one four stars so this was the first book that I read this week and after that I did read Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros and I loved this book. This is a five star read for me. It was so good. It kept me engaged the entire time. Like from the very first page, you are just thrown into this really action packed, really mythical and awesome world. The, I feel like Rebecca did a really great job. Um, just like her writing style was so easy to read. The chemistry between all the characters, the, just the personality of the main character was everything. She was so sarcastic, so funny, and also so strong and determined. And so I really enjoyed reading this one. And after I finished this one, I was kind of afraid I was gonna go into a reading slump, but I wanted to stay within that genre because that's just what sounds really appealing to me right now. And so then I actually started The Serpent and the Wings of Night by Carissa Broadbent. Now, um, I wasn't able to finish this book. I'm actually only 45 pages into it, but so far I'm really enjoying this book. Um, from what I've read so far, I can just tell this is gonna be Definitely in the four star to five star range somewhere in there just from what I've read. The writing style is so easy to read. If you are a beginner in fantasy, like you haven't read a lot of fantasy books or understand the world building within fantasy books, I think this is a really good book to start with. From the first page, it just jumps right in. It keeps you engaged and I'm going to keep reading it to the rest of this evening. But I did want to give my thoughts before I finished up this video. I think that just the main character, once again, she's so strong. She very much reminds me of Aelin from Throne of Glass. She's honestly just a boss. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe her. I'm just really excited to see where she goes and like the character development in this book. I've heard really great things, so I'm looking forward to continuing on with this duology. And yeah. So I just wanted to show what I was able to read. Honestly, this was a really good reading week for me. Um, it was over a weekend. I went from a Wednesday to a Wednesday. So, you know, I was also able to read a lot because it was a weekend. I'm so happy with the books that I decided to read this week. This was honestly a really good reading week for me. I'm hoping I can do more reading vlogs this summer because this was honestly really fun. I was able to just read and talk about the books that I'm reading currently. So. I definitely think that I will continue making more of these videos hopefully throughout the summer. I hope you guys all enjoyed this reading vlog. If you did, please like, subscribe, and comment and let me know if you've read any of these books. I would love to hear your thoughts if you've read any of these or if you have any recommendations that are similar to the ones that I read in this video. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!